Hey everyone, Pichi out here, and on today's episode, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna do something with a little product review with the Lenovo Legion Go and the Aces ROG Ally, both using the AMD Zen 1 uh, Extreme processors. So, let's get to work, because it's Pichi out's garage. So I'm not gonna bore you guys with specifications and everything. You guys can go on YouTube. There's already a million YouTubers reviewing these products, okay? What I'm gonna give you guys a review on is why I'm gonna choose one over the other and why one to me is superior over the other. And one of the things I'm gonna give you the heads up on is, for me, it's functionality. Um, features, accessories, and pretty much battery life, and scalability. I don't think anybody has actually uh, went online and actually think about how you scale these products. And I'm going to see if I can make sense of that for you guys. So let's deep dive a little bit on what I think and which one I'm going to choose between the two. So we're going to start off first with the ASUS ROG Ally. One thing I love about this unit, it's its weight. It's super light, very, very comfortable to use, and it's great. The screen's gorgeous, a nice 1080p screen. You know, it's got a lot of great functionality. But my downside to this product is a lot of things, and I'm gonna show you guys what, what I mean by that. So the big things I really, really enjoy about this product, the sound, the controller, uh, button placement, uh, the I.O. on top, really, really nice. Everything about it from the beginning uh, to pretty much the end of this product, I'm very, very satisfied with it. What's my pet peeve, number one? You don't get a stand with the product. It comes with a cardboard stand, which is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life for a product that costs $600. Um, another thing, there's no actual built-in kickstand. Yeah, you get one Type-C on the very top, where the Lenovo Legion Go gives you two. The screen is small. Yes, this is product-focused for gaming. However, it's a PC. If this was like the Steam Deck, I would understand that that's what I'm buying. It's more focused towards gaming in period. It doesn't give you the ability to mess around with it and be multitasking. Most users who are going to buy this is strictly going to be for gaming. However, I'm the weird person. I'm the oddball out on this and I prefer the larger screen. I prefer the detachable controllers. I prefer the built-in kickstand. I prefer the two Type-C ports. I prefer the um, just overall everything experience that the Lenovo Legion Go has over the ASUS ROG. My other big pet peeve with the ASUS ROG, uh, the Ally, was the SD card slot being so close to the fan. It got really, really hot on multiple occasions. But another thing that's really cool about this product is accessories. There is a lot of accessories for this product. It's been out a lot longer than the Lenovo Legion. So you do have choices on like cases. You have better options with accessories overall. So it is a better product after you buy it and after you buy all the extra stuff for it. But only if you're gonna be using it for gaming. So at the end of the day, this product is going back to Best Buy. I'm not keeping it. I gave it a like three days of playing and I just got over it quick. The sound though is amazing. This thing sounds so good for its size and it's probably because the speaker placement is perfect. It's up in front, it's not away from you, it's in the greatest spot. The buttons feel amazing. I just, I, I, I thoroughly love the overall. If and only if I only thought about this device as a gaming device. However, 
I don't want it as a gaming device. I travel a lot on planes for my job, and sometimes I don't want to. I don't want to play video games. Maybe I want to do something else. Maybe read a book or uh, do a little bit of a typing and bring in my portable keyboard and everything else with me and do some work on a plane or in my hotel room. The beauty of the Lenovo Legion, um, the Go, we'll call it the Lego, um, is it gives you a little bit more versatility, okay? So for me, this is not a keeper. It's going back to Best Buy and I'm pretty much done with it. Uh, everything else is great. But when I stand uh, at the productivity standpoint, it's just not for me. For you guys who are big, big gamers, this is, this product is amazing. Buy it. I highly recommend it. If you're going to use it strictly for gaming and that's it, buy it. It's phenomenal. It does everything you ever want for a gaming console and more. The Lenovo Legion Go. Lego for short. So, what I love about this unit, number one, the very, very high resolution screen. I don't care about the refresh rate, I don't benefit very much from the refresh rate for my personal use, but it's phenomenal, 144 hertz. I love the fact that it has a built-in stand. This right here is the sole, like, biggest reason why I bought this. It's because I didn't want to buy another accessory, make it even heavier and bulkier, and it wouldn't fit perfectly. You know, it would have its own little kickstand that's a piece of plastic that's not attached to it. It just makes it feel cheap to me. This device feels like a premium product, feels like Lenovo. Definitely focus on a lot of things for the overall user. I believe they really focus on this device to become a productivity device on top of gaming. Gaming first, and then they added productivity. My favorite thing right here, oh man, this mouse pad, legit, legit. I have an actual mouse instead of a D-pad, uh, instead of a, the, the Joy-Con for moving around, or the Joy controller here for moving around as a mouse function. I love it. The only thing I wish they added on here, on the mouse pad, is maybe, um, a right click or a left and right click, a little tiny one. Uh, that way I can actually do some extra commands while I'm uh, on my computer using it as a PC versus as a gaming device. Um, my other favorite thing is that it has a type C on the bottom and on top. So when I'm traveling or on the go and I wanna charge it, I don't have a cable sticking out of the top of it, it's more on the bottom. It's very, very versatile, uh, especially if you wanna design and build your own docking station, this is gonna be cool. I've actually got a couple plans coming out very soon to design a like a like a switch type dock, so I can actually just put in a cheap little USB Type C cable and have a cheap dock attached to it, so I can dock it and use it as a nice little PC, and it'd be very very functional for me. Uh, I just added the screen protector on it, so it's got the glass protector. I did that because I officially confirmed I'm keeping this device, and the ASUS ROG Ally is going away. Bye, ROG Ally. Um, my other big favorite thing about this product, the Hall Effect sensors on the, the joysticks are phenomenal. They are very, very smooth. There's zero to no like um, controller like drift at all that I can detect. The calibration software is okay. The Legion software in general is super mediocre. But as long as you get it all taken care of right off the bat, set it up so nothing boots up on startup, it's a great, great PC. And I'm actually using it now for like working when I'm in like a hotel room or if I'm like on a desk that is really small, like my bedroom, I have a really, really small desk in my bedroom and I had a, I have a large laptop that I use in there. I actually stopped doing that and I ended up using this with a, with a 24 inch monitor and it works phenomenal. I have a little Bluetooth keyboard and mouse Again, it's just for basic work like surfing the web, doing some documents, or just you know messing around with my servers in the house. Really, really simple to use. I might actually use it as a streaming station when I do live streams when I'm on the go. I haven't tested that. One thing I did notice though, the Wi-Fi performance on this is superior to the Wi-Fi performance on the ROG, I mean on the Ally. I thoroughly enjoyed the Wi-Fi performance on this. Um, especially on my property, it's working really, really well. 
it is heavy. So if you guys out there um, don't like heavy components while you're holding it, this is substantially heavier, but for obvious reasons, 8.8 inch screen, uh, metal frame instead of just plastic, it feels like a premium product. Uh, my favorite things here on this guy, hold on, here, come on, focus on me, buddy. There you go. On the controller, I love the mouse wheel on the back. If you're on websites, scrolling is so much better than just cramming your finger and just scrolling up and down, up and down. I hate putting fingerprints on my on the device that I'm looking at. And I'm very, very happy that Lenovo kind of thought about that for us, where there's a mouse um, uh, wheel on the back here. You'll see right back here on this controller. Oh man, up and down scroll. Um, I haven't gotten to the point of figuring out how to program these guys in the way I want to. Uh, I might set these up as a left and right click, or possibly one left click, and then maybe the other button over here on the other side as a right click. I haven't considered that, but again, I love it because of the the programmable keys on here that you can full on do whatever you want. Um, the better cooling is even just so much better. You, they also move the SD card away from the dang heat sink instead of nuking it, so that way you don't ruin it. Asus did say there is a firmware update coming up to fix that problem and getting con uh, fan controls better, so that way they don't nuke it. Downside of this device, the sound on this thing is horrible. I mean, it's, it's bearable, but it's not good, okay? Good thing is I wear headphones, I don't care. The sound to me, I mean, I'm gonna be, you know, in my bedroom, my wife next to me watching TV, I'll just slap on my headphones and I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy it. This is a keeper, okay? Surfing the web on this is great. Doing some light work, like working on Office. Um, I'm actually gonna try to put OBS Studio on this and see how it performs. I'm gonna actually gonna Believe it or not, I'm probably going to throw some of my 3D printing software on here and 3D modeling. Um, that way I can just do some quick stuff on the go. Uh, one other thing I'm probably going to consider doing is adding my video editing software and have like an external uh, M.2 drive that I have over here. Where is it? There we go. There we go. We're probably going to add one of these guys. I have a, this is an external uh, M.2 uh, drive that I'm going to be using. Uh, it's a two terabyte drive with a PCI Express 3. If this guy can read it um, at full speed, I'd be very, very happy because then I will be able to actually file transfer and my videos won't take two hours to load up on uh, PowerDirector, which is what I use. I don't use crazy, like fancy video editing software. So battery life, eh, in comparison to the Ally, all right? The Ally is superior in battery. The Lego, superior in multitasking, in functionality, in screen quality, in ports. Yeah, it doesn't have the extra port to hook up an external GPU, but I don't know many people are gonna dish out $1,500 to $2,000 just to add a powerful GPU to this device and actually benefit from it. I don't think that's any, any going to be uh, any anything coming up in the future for me. I highly doubt I'm ever going to need it. Um, accessories, okay? They provide, just so you know, for I think a hundred bucks more. I think it's seven ninety seven forty nine for this guy, and this is six ninety nine or five ninety nine. I can't remember the pricing very well. I didn't really care for pricing because I knew exactly what I was getting into. If I was going to keep on return them. Um, for what you get over here is a pretty much a, huh, hold on, let me uh, set this guy back up on the table. There we go. So for what you get over here is what you see here, this plus a charger, and that's it. There's not much more of a uh, experience with your product. You're gonna have to buy a case with a kickstand. You're gonna have to buy a travel case with it. Um, you probably want to buy a screen protector because I did. That's that's a given on any device with a screen on it. I per highly recommend that. Um, besides that, though, you're gonna add an extra at least 50 bucks to your general purchase just so it can do the same stuff this comes with 
out of the box. This comes with a beautiful case, which I just figured out a cool feature, and I'm gonna show you guys in just a second. So on the Legion Go case, there's a little port right here on the left-hand side, and this is a quick access charge port. So if you're actually on the go, and you have a portable battery that you're carrying with you, you can slap in your Type-C cable right down there and charge your Legion without even taking it out of the case. That's dope. I'm not gonna lie, that I found that out yesterday after a week and a half of a week owning this thing, maybe a week and a half of owning it, and I just fell even more in love with the Legion Go because of that, just because they thought about travel. Isn't that crazy? They give you a really, really nice case, well padded. I, don't, I actually put this on my motorcycle and threw it on my saddlebag and I wasn't worried about it. It was thoroughly padded and I wasn't concerned and didn't get jumped around all over the place. I love it. The only thing I wish they could have gave us is like a microfiber cloth that fit the entire case. That way you can clean it after you're using it. Um, they do have this. This is a little strap when you lay it on here. Um, if you fold it out instead of trying to pick it up by the controller. Uh, you can also carry the FPS thingy here, which, I mean, it's neat, but I don't care for it. I haven't even used the FPS mode on this device. I love the case. Love it, love it, love it. Totally, again, by itself, this case is probably 30 to 50 bucks by itself, and it's included with your device. They give you your typical 65 watt Type C charger with an attached cable, so you can't really remove the Type C cable off the device itself. Uh, but oh well, you know. Um, so what I ended up doing, and these are the much-needed accessories if you're going to use your Lenovo or your Ally as a travel companion for maybe multitasking, going on the web, and using it as an actual computer. Accessory number one. I picked up this J5 docking station with a 100 watt PD uh, pass-through port. Um, gives me the ability to hook up one HDMI, two type. Uh, two uh, USB 3.0s. Uh, it's got the Type C in the back. Uh, sorry about the camera, guys. This thing's having a heck of a time. Okay. And there we go. And it's got a gigabit Ethernet port right on it as well. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I picked this up on the Black Friday sale for 30 bucks. Super happy with it. Works flawlessly under one condition you cannot use the 65 watt charger with it. Once you use this with the 65 watt charger, it puts it in low power mode. So it puts it in 25 watt instead of the 30 watt mode. So you, you do lose some performance. So what I ended up doing? I ended up buying this Insignia 100 watt charger from Best Buy for 30 bucks as well. It does two, it has 100 watt um, Type-C port and plus a 40 watt additional uh, kind of shared. Um, awesome, awesome. Charges my Lenovo Legion at fast charge. It fully charges it within under an hour uh, from, a dead, from the dead battery, so I love it. Uh, additionally, I added the um, Type-C cable, a longer Type-C cable for travel. Uh, if I'm going to have it on my desk in my hotel room or just in my desk in my room, I bought this for an extra 20 bucks. Um, this guy is the pretty much the matching cable that comes from the factory for Lenovo. I believe it's a Type C Gen 2 3.2, which allows the high power uh, wattage, so it allows up to 100 watts of charging, uh, fast 10 gigabit speeds, data transfer, and video. So. This is compatible with the Lenovo Legion Go and the Asus Ally. Very, very good device. Super needed for your travel needs if you're gonna bring a dock with you, okay? My last accessory that I'm using for my whole setup here is this guy. And I'll show you what this it is. This is the Anchor 737 Power Bank. This is a 100 watt output Type-C power bank. Um, pretty gnarly. Um, it's got a cool little screen on it. Come on. And this will fully charge my Legion Go or my Ally one time all the way through, but it will fully support the 100 watt uh, output. So your Lenovo, your, your Go or your Ally, 
will not be in low power mode. It will be a full performance on the go, which is awesome. So you can technically get, if you're not gaming on it, if you're going to be doing work, you get almost an entire day's worth of work out of that one battery. If you're gaming, I got almost six hours of full like gaming experience with this attached to it um, just for testing by myself at full 30 watts. It's amazing, and it has a battery readout and telling you what load it's taking. So this is what I'm bringing when I'm traveling now. My Go, my Anchor, my Charger, and my little dock, and an HDMI cable, and I'm, I'm a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, so that way my two USB ports on the, um, on, the, uh, on the dock are free. And my last thing I'm gonna catch, since this has two Type-C ports, I'm gonna bring my M.2 external enclosure and bring a two terabyte drive so I can travel and transfer data over and use it as an actual PC. All right, so thank you, thank you everyone um, for watching this uh, quick video of the, uh, the um, Ally and the Legion Go. Uh, I know this is not like a product review. This is more like my product review, my personal opinion on both devices and what they're being used for. I'm using them as for productivity, not for gaming. Obviously gaming is the purpose for these devices, but technically to me, it's a portable PC that's even more portable than a laptop and it goes anywhere and you can use it as a laptop on top of it gaming. Thank you for watching this episode of Pinchy Al's Garage. Doing some videos in my garage and a quick review and description of why I chose the Legion over the Ally. Peace out everyone. You guys have yourself a wonderful day.